What is up? It's Ashley. So for today's video, I am wearing pink because it is a Valentine's video and I am super excited about it. And it's also going to be another Baking with Ashley video. Here I'm going to show you how you can make a super cute Valentine's dessert that looks very fancy but is still easy to make. And you can definitely impress your other half with this or your friends, it's totally up to you. If you guys are not already subscribed to my channel, you should make sure to go ahead and click that button right down below. That way you guys won't miss out on any of my new upcoming videos. So make sure to hit that right now. And if you guys like this video, then make sure to give it a thumbs up and go check out the rest of my videos. That is definitely enough talking for this intro, so let's just get into how to make this dessert. The very first thing we're going to need is some brownie hearts to put inside of our mousse cake. I just used this recipe that I found for a brownie and a mug cake because I thought it would fit perfect inside my heart molds, but you could also make a whole pan of brownies or buy some pre-made brownies. Next, we're going to get our plate ready. So we're just going to use some melted dark chocolate and put a little spoonful of that on your plate. And then you're just gonna kind of swipe it sideways until you kind of get a nice looking like swipe of chocolate basically and then you're just going to refrigerate that until we need the plate now on to making our mousse using 300 ml of the whipping cream we're going to whip that in our kitchen aid or if you want to do it by hand that's totally up to you i'm lazy though and it takes a super long time to whip cream by hand now we are just going to whip that until we get soft peaks and that is going to be our base of our mousse so we can set that aside for a little bit and now we are going to take a quarter cup of dark chocolate chips and we are just going to melt that in our microwave and microwave it for 30 seconds at a time. If it doesn't all melt on the first 30 seconds after microwaving it, just take it out, stir it up a little bit and then stick it back in for another 30 seconds or so and it should be completely melted. Now we can add our whipped cream into our chocolate and that is going to make our mousse and I forgot to actually measure how much I did but I think I probably put about two cups of whipped cream into the chocolate. You're going to want to do it in small additions kind of so add a little bit of whipped cream and then add a little bit more next time and kind of mix it in as you go and just keep going until you have mixed all your whipped cream into your chocolate. It's also good to have your whipped cream at room temperature so that when you add it together it doesn't harden the chocolate. We can now start filling our mousse molds and I just bought mine off Amazon and they were hearts and I thought they were so cute. So we're just going to fill those about three quarters of the way full. Taking another spoon, you're gonna to wanna to spread the mousse up the sides of the mold and that will build the sides of our mousse cake and then you can go in and add some more mousse at the bottom if you need to. Now we're going to put in a layer of chocolate fudge sauce and you guys could make your own like I did or you could go out and buy some which is totally fine and I think I put about a tablespoon or so in and it's up to you if you guys want more you could put more in. Because I didn't put a whole lot of fudge sauce in I had to add a little bit of more mousse so that when I put my brownie in that it would actually reach to the like bottom slash top of the mold if you get what I'm saying. If it's not completely full with mousse around your brownie then and go ahead and add some extra mousse now and fill in that empty space. Taking an offset spatula, you're just gonna to wanna to run that across your mold and across the top of the mousse cake, and that way it'll make it nice and smooth and flat. We now have to freeze our mousse cakes and you're gonna to wanna to freeze them for about four hours, I'd say at a minimum. That way they are frozen solid and they will be easy to pop out of the mold. Once you've popped your mousse cake out of the mold, you're gonna to wanna to place that on a cooling rack and let it sit for about 15 minutes or so till it kind of thaws and then we can go ahead and glaze it. I also somehow lost the footage of me making the glaze. So basically you're just gonna to wanna to take a half a cup of white chocolate, 50 mls of whipping cream and one tablespoon of corn syrup and you're going to melt that in the microwave for 30 seconds at a time until it's fully melted and then just add your food coloring. After your glaze is fully made and cooled down a little bit then we can take it and just pour it over top of our mousse cake like you can see me doing in this video. Since it is a glaze it is going to coat your mousse cake really nicely and just smooth out on its own. This is up to you, but if you want, you can make it a little fancier by melting some white chocolate in a piping bag or even in a Ziploc bag and just cutting off a small corner and then just drizzle that across your heart. I personally think it adds so much to the cake, so I definitely recommend trying it out. And then taking another offset spatula, you're gonna wanna pick up your cake. Once you've picked the cake up, you're just gonna try to get off any excess glaze. So you're just gonna do that by dragging it along the cooling rack to take that off and then take it and place it onto your plate. To finish off the plate, I just added some whipped cream and then I added a few raspberries to add some extra color. Plus, who doesn't love raspberries? Found my heart 
I'm so happy with how this cake turned out and I think it's so adorable and so perfect for Valentine's. I'm also pretty sure that anybody you made this for would be super impressed and think that it is super delicious. I'm on my way. You guys enjoyed this video and i hope that you guys do try this out because honestly it tastes so good i had my friend come over and try it and she was like so in love with it plus it looks so cute and if you guys are still watching make sure to give this video a thumbs up and that way i know that you like these baking videos okay that was it for the video today and i'll see you guys in my next one bye